Okay, guys, back to Shoot Mania, though. As this is going to be Kick versus Matt in the Shoot Mania Esports Cup. And we see a very standard defense set up here with Morty on the offense, Didix way back up top there near the pole, and then Micro going to be in the spawn. So Kyle working his way up that left side is going to try to get an early pickoff, but it's so... Oh, oh, Morty, 36 centimeters! As Micro putting out a little bit of rocket fire is going to be staying into that spawn. And a one centimeter miss! You just barely missed that one, Kyle. Oh, man. So Mad Squirrel's trying to start off with a bang. But he is not going to be able to get one quite yet. Oh, that was a good little jump up there. Might have got him peeking. Not able to. He's going to rush in towards the pole. Takes an early hit, though. Not going to be able to get up there. 13 seconds now. He's going to have a long road ahead of him as he tries to get up. Takes another one. Pushed down into the hole as he's down to one armor. And there's the third hit there from Microstar as he got to that round. Didix getting the third. And it's going to be 1-0 in the favor of Kick Esports. So Morty going to be playing that point position on attack for his team. Working his way up. Change settings. I didn't see what the setting was. But the vote passed, so I don't know what it is. As Morty going to be coming up here. And uh, again, very similar. Where's the third defender? Oh, he's over there. I didn't even see him. My, my apologies. He's going to be back up above there. As Morty going to try and pick him off. Takes a double tap, though, from Macho. Macho getting the third hit. What an amazing play there. Macho's like, look, guys, I appreciate you wanting to be a team and everything. But... I'm going to take care of this myself <laughs> and just take some down. Holy cow. So Macho going to be on the offense. I could have sworn maybe Macho played point last map, but I could be wrong. As Kick uses that same defense setup on the L defense, trying to pick off Micro in the spawn. A couple rockets coming out, and you see them there on the bottom. Might be coming in onto Morty here in second. He's going to be coming in. Not able to get him. He's able to barely get around. There's a hit, though, from Morty, and gets a second rocket. What a great predictive rocket. Laser is going to hit the rocket instead of hitting Micro, and there's another rock block as he comes in, and a long-range spam there from Didix. What a very good play there coming out from Kick. All defensive rounds. This round is definitely seem or I'm sorry, this map is definitely seeming a little tighter than our last one. No disrespect to Team Zero. But uh, I think Kick showing their experience. They have been established in the Shoot Mania community for a long, long time. And are playing uh, very well right now as Didix trying to get over there by Macho again. He's going to come streaking in. Where did Macho go? Man, he's Houdini. Oh, that was your opportunity to get the pickoff. Not able to. Is his defense going to rotate over? Just barely going to miss Macho again. Rocket's coming up. He's going to be moving a little bit slow on the grass. Comes out. There's the pickoff. Didix with 10 seconds left has taken out one of the players. I don't know. Is he going to make it? Can you make that? Wow. Oh, can't make that jump quite yet. Wow. Oh, he made it. Okay, that was so close. The pole is now live, so Didix working his way in as both defenders are sitting near the pole. Comes in, not able to get that early hit, takes one himself though, so now going to be 2v2 as he comes, jumps up, takes a hit himself, down to one armor, comes over and takes another. Kyle getting all three. We've had three, uh, two defensive rounds here for Mad. All of them have been one player getting all the hits. So what an amazing job here. All of the mad players showing their ability to really excel with those rockets. But is Zedric going to be able to break that offensive struggle and get a point for himself? It has uh, Zedric has been getting a lot of offensive rounds on the last t uh, time against Zero. So we'll see if he's going to be able to keep it going as he comes over the right side. Though an early hit by Didix. Good spam there from Didix. Or should I say predictive rockets. It's not spam. It's knowing where your enemy is going to be going as Morty gets one. He is taken off though. But he's going to be able to make it an exchange. Good shot around the fence. Didix predicting that he'd come out. He's going to go up 3-2 to two as again. Everything has been defense, defense, defense here as MicroStar going to be coming in here for kick. Is, yeah, Macho is going to go up on that uh, that left side again on that fence. My guess would be that Micro is going to try to pick him off as Morty disconnects. My guess is that he is... Oh, good shot by Macho. Predicted that he'd come out there, gets the hit. Morty's going to try and reconnect. So that way he can, uh, my guess, get a, a little bit better ping. We'll see. Oh, good jump up there from Micro. Turns around and gets the hit on the Macho. Great play there from Micro. That was a very interesting jump. Good jump there. Hits the fence, able to make that gap. I don't know if he would have going to be using the sprint pad there. Misses by 27 centimeters onto that back defender. As Kyle is trying to juke it out. Zedric is on the back. 
Great shot by Micro as he drops down, able to get the pick off. 25 centimeter miss again. It's going to be two armor versus one defender as he comes in on the pull. Gets the shot around the corner and Micro breaks it. It's going to be four to two in favor of Kick as Morty makes his way back in, but it does not. Oh, okay, it went to uh, not into the game. Okay, so it's still going to be four to two. What an amazing round there by Micro. Great shot around the fence onto uh, Macho, and then also comes in on the pole, streaks in, gets the hit onto the foot, as uh, I believe it was Zedric there at the end was trying to get behind. So great round from Micro. Micro really showing his ability to use the laser. <laughs> Circle saying he is most improved player. And regardless, great round. And uh, I think uh, the the crowd is surprised and impressed with that last one. So very good job as they break that hold of who can get the first offensive round as it is 4-2 to two now in favor of kick as Kyle's going to be working his way up the middle slowly. Now up towards the left, waiting, trying to get a pickoff. Oh, micro nine centimeters, buddy. You got to be careful poking out like that. That was a good attempt by Cal as he uses that wall jump to get a little bit better angle from an unsuspecting defender as he comes up again, not able to get that vision. Great spotting and communication coming out here from Kick as they aren't allowing him to get picked off. If Micro gets picked off, that could be very troublesome. Great juke there by Kyle, but Morty predicted it comes around the corner, gets a double tap. He is down to one armor, comes in, gets knocked up by his own defender, gets the pick off though. It's going to be one armor versus two defenders with 10 seconds left as the pole is alive. He's got to work his way in as the L defender one up by that half fence. And now the rock is just coming out. The pole is vulnerable. Two seconds left. Does he have time to cap it? He does not get it. I thought he had it. 93% what an amazing defensive shot that is absolutely amazing defense oh my goodness so we'll not be able to get that response to the offensive round it's going to be five to two kick taking a little bit more of a lead that was such a good try I thought he had it but just barely missed it oh man that was exciting Ooh, Zedric spoken out just for a second there. Morty coming up. Where is the defense? I'm going to switch the defense. Oh, no. Zedric getting picked off. There's the defense. I'm going to stay here on Morty. Get you all the action. He's kind of got a prime position here as he's got the defenders on the other side of the pole for him. So if they come out, they're going to be sitting ducks. He drops in now. He's going to start the capping process and gets it without getting hit. Six to two. You can see it is one. One offensive round. Defensive rockets across the board for both sides, which is very standard. Macho with four, which is very good as he's leading his team. And he is going to try to get one of these offensive rounds back. It's very, very hard to come back from two offensive rounds down, especially when a team is already at six. That just means three rounds, and they're going to be able to, to cap out or to win, essentially, right? And so one armor down already just misses that pickoff on a micro as he is in that spawn again, which is very standard. It's very difficult to deal with this person. He can spot one armor left as Morty gets another hit around the fence. Oh, Morty just missing again. Actually gets pushed down by his own buddy. Jumps up, doesn't get hit as he jukes that laser. And the pole is going to go live in three seconds. Now Morty, though, comes and gets the hit. Seven to two. And will Diddix be able to get an offensive round here for his team? One player each getting an offensive round, but to be honest, if Diddix doesn't, he's not going to be, it's not that detrimental that he just gets it. They're already up to, they're up by five rounds total, but that's a little deceiving as we all know as we as we watch uh, Shoot Mania regularly. Diddix though taking a double tap there from Kyle, and there's the hit from Macho, the long range, and Macho is using that, uh, is still going up to the top here. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, so I'm just going to say, the top right fence there above the laser pad, he's really, um, he's really working that side there trying to spot I don't know. Uh, you guys would know much better than I. Kick Team Kick is using a lot more uh, traditional defensive setup. And I don't know if that is um, what's make or breaking this right now. But it does seem like the Mad Team is having a hard time really breaking through, really you know, cracking the defense because they're using that triangle very well, which is something a lot of teams try to do is they have that triangle set up where somebody can always cover somebody. And then, you know, if somebody comes inside the triangle, they swarm them and they just attack like wolves. So he is entering that triangle now. So we'll see if he comes out. Look at that. Two hits already down to one armor. The rush down from Morty. Exactly what I was saying. And, um, 
they enter that triangle, they converge. Um, wait, you guys say no mouse, meaning you want me to stop showing mouse or you cannot see the mouse? I'm not sure what you're saying there. Uh, so Micro, who had the, the first offensive round here for his team, and it was actually quite the doozy, looking really good. And you see Macho, as we just spoke, he's, he's setting up a little different. Again, don't know, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but he's up on that, uh, that walkway. He's actually now on the laser pad as Micro jumps up. He is going to try to trace down uh, Macho. There, you heard the shot there from the laser, but I uh, didn't actually see it. Takes a long-range hit there from Kyle, though. I'm not sure where Macho ended up going. He's going to sprint out using that variable jump very well. Ends up getting the hit as Macho. Microstar is going to be uh, two versus two, two armor versus two defenders. Jumps back down, not able to get a hit on the cow. It's going to be the pressure time as he exchanges again as cow and micro end up hitting each other. One armor versus one defender as he jumps up, streaks over his Zidric. Not able to do it. That's going to be nice.